Yes, please, and state your name for the record. My name is Kelly Young Franklin, and I'm here today to represent not only myself, but also other quieted voices within this city. Okay. While I oh, know zoning on. issues, vacating empty Franklin, lots, and Ms. issuing Franklin, permits. Ms. Young Franklin, we covered this. Your, our rules of procedure, which are adopted by ordinance, that means they are a law. They allow you to speak to an item on the agenda. Is there something you have to say about an appropriation from the building at r and fund for the police department? As a first generation Russellville High School graduate, in addition to being I, a first I generation it, I ATU no. grad, I'm a taxpayer. Ma'am, let, let me explain. Ms. Young Franklin, let, let me try to explain again. First off, we have no disciplinary jurisdiction over district court whatsoever. This is not the proper venue for your complaint. There is a venue where you can hear your, have your grievance heard. Uh, our rules of procedure, you're not speaking to an item on the agenda. I can, am speaking to all the items on the agenda, sir. Ma'am. In while all, I know, zoning issues, what while I know zoning issues, vacating empty lots, and issuing permits are serious business for the council, I urge you all to consider that the city government is supposed to be up for us and by us. By that I mean we elect you to do the city's business with our interest in mind. So while drainage improvements are important, issues for the council, they do not get to the heart of what is most important in this city, and that is the people who live here, who work here and who raise our families here. The item that it is the item we're speaking about is uh, building R&M. Okay. Uh, point, point of order. Point of order, Ms. Franklin. Ms. Franklin. Ms. Franklin. Point of order, Ms. Franklin. Ms. Franklin, you're that forcing me to do something I really, really do not want to do. You're going to have to or even a small town like either Arkansas, speak to the item that we're you considering. Are to an attorney if you cannot afford one yourself. Again, we are not discussing that. You are that has nothing to do to with a boiler trial. replacement at, at the city the police department. Okay. Council, we'll stand in adjournment for the next 10 minutes. Ms. Franklin, you need to leave the chamber. Thank you. We're adjourned for 10 minutes. Appropriation 1, which has to do with boiler repair at the police department. She is not speaking. She said nothing about the issue of repairing a boiler at the police department. You can state what you said. I just want to that you told me I could come up here and sign that list and speak. Please, don't act like I don't understand. I was listening to what she said. She was talking about drainage. She was talking about Judge Bourne. This is not the proper venue for that. We have no jurisdiction. There is a place called the... Uh, Judicial Review Board, I believe. Is that the name of it, Mr. Smith? Judicial Discipline and Disability Commission. There is a d Judicial Disciplinary and say it again. Disability Commission. And Disability Commission in Little Rock, where that is properly handled. We, he is our city attorney. We have no jurisdiction in this matter. It is not an item on our agenda. The law says we are not supposed to discuss it tonight. And, and, and Ms. Franklin is fully aware of this. We explained it to her. I, as I told the mayor, I thought that the lady could sign up to speak, and I was wrong because of the ordinance. I did not know the ordinance. I, I by email, corrected that yesterday or the day before. Ms. Franklin, you knew our well, rules I, of procedure. So I ask you to provide that in procedure or writing. Uh, you did not ask me to. You did not ask me to provide it. You told me that you didn't see any law and that you would see me Thursday night.
You had a. So without providing for teachers and bylaws, I ask that I be allowed to finish speaking because we don't have any written rules. We do have written rules. Where are they, sir? You didn't provide them. Mr. Smith, can you provide them? You did not ask me for rules. You did not ask me for rules. When, when, I sent, when I sent you an email, you had every opportunity to ask me for them, and you did not do that. I would have told, because I had already told you this is not the proper venue. We have absolutely, we have no jurisdiction. We are. You're free to walk about for seven more minutes. Mayor, if I may interject, would, would it be a compromise to allow X number, whatever our ordinance says, X number of minutes at the close of the meeting, if Ms. Franklin would 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 uh, agree to that, you know, in in place of every item and just agree to have a time allotment at the end of the meeting to say her piece? Well, we did with that. We did away with that open discussion thing a couple of years ago. Right. You did. But, but we could add if, it back. If the if me, no. If, if you don't mind, let me finish with Mr. Tripp. The council could add this as a late agenda item if you really want to hear it. But I'll remind you, you have no jurisdiction whatsoever over any matter of district court. So. Okay. And we do. If the council wants to hear it, they can add it later in the, at the end of the meeting as a late agenda item. It is Kathy not Keaton. currently on there, and you are not addressing the item that is under discussion. Um, I called Jerry Friday, Jerry. I asked Jerry, could she come and speak? I asked Jerry more than once, could she come and speak? And Jerry told me she could. All she had to do was sign up, and she would be recognized to speak. Did Jerry becomes the legal authority of the city council. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm sorry. If you want to speak, go to the microphone. Because I, I, I really can't hear what you're saying. Not for six more minutes, and it, and then we're you can speak to the uh, to the item that we're discussing. If that's if you've got an interest in a boiler repair at the police department, the only other way you could do it is if the council adds this as a late agenda item. Can we do the late agenda item I when we reinforce it now? Yes. <laughs> Mayor, I would be fine if we want to allocate X number. I mean, I'll make that motion whether or not it passes. I well, don't know, but if we want to. Meeting is adjourned for five more minutes, Mr. Tripp. When it comes back, we'll be happy to let you make that motion. But we're going to follow procedure. We passed the law. You guys passed this law, not me. If you're not going to follow your own rules, then you can be the one that explains that. If you want to talk about it, make a motion later, as soon as we readjourn, to add it as a late agenda item. And we'll suspend the finance meeting and we'll go ahead and deal with that. Where can I find that ordinance that we did that? Mr. Smith, it's the one we pass the first thing every, every year. Let's see. It's your rules of procedure. I don't have the number, but it is up on the website. It's been there since January. Ms. Taylor's not my secretary. 
Just like. I understand that. Right. Who's the finance director? Who's the finance director? Doesn't and is, doesn't have a law degree. Sure, it does. Has everything to do. If you get your information from a. Because he has no training in legal matters. Ms. Young, Ms. Young Franklin, ma'am, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, our 10 minutes adjournment is not quite up, but Mr. Smith advises me that since everybody is here, all right, we can go ahead and come back into session. Now, I would entertain a motion to add this as a late agenda item if the council wants to consider it. Mr. Tripp. I would move to add this at the end of the meeting for what is our normal time, three minutes, five minutes? Five. Five minutes. Five minutes and put a. I had told her three minutes. Didn't I tell you three minutes? Well, our rules tell them five. Okay, so I didn't know. Uh, please, if we're going to try to follow the rules, let's follow them. If we're not, then, you know. You know. I still would like to see Anna. this rules. Right. We'll see if we can get somebody to get those for you. Um, would, would, would that be suitable with you if we set this for the at the late agenda item at the end of the meeting good pastor Tice, you signed up to speak you did not mention an agenda can i assume that you would like to speak to this issue also sir as, as needed. okay yes, sir. uh mayor that, that needs a second i, I presume before it's do we need to go ahead and approve that now all right, Mr. Tripp has made a motion to add this as a late agenda item at the end of our prepared agenda. I need a second. I will second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Call the roll, please. What you're voting on is the motion to add a late agenda item. Mr. Smith, five votes? Yes. We need five votes. No. You're supposed to turn off and register. Okay. okay. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Ms. Harris? Yes. Mr. Brown was no. Mr. Strait? No. Mr. Sims? No. Mr. Westcott? No. Mr. Wiley? No. Ms. Carruth? No. Ms. All right. The motion to add the late agenda item fails. Your next option would be to get with one of these council members that sponsored it and get it put on the October. This is not something that's happened in the last few months. Get with them and see if they want to sponsor it and properly add it to the October agenda. Okay? We'll be sure and give everybody a reminder. Let's see. Jerry, could you jump on the website and pull up our rules of procedure? They were passed in January. How are you? How long do I have? Five minutes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before you get started, I don't think that microphone is working. Can we get you over there? We don't have 30 minutes or an hour. Please. We'll need you to, we'll, but we'll need you to put your name on the record. I'll once in a while. full name is Alton Lee Tyus. I'm the pastor 
at New Prospect Baptist Church here in the city. I am a resident of Conway, Arkansas. And uh, when I have I've just kind of observed uh, the proceedings here, one of the things that came to mind is that as a resident of Conway, and when I listened to all the things that you all had before you and that you made a decision on, uh, as a citizen of Conway, I have no jurisdiction here in Russellville. But I'm here because I'm concerned about the people I serve. I serve the people at New Prospect. And, and what I heard from, from Miss um, uh, Young Franklin was really a cry out to be heard. And, and the response was, was very, very rigid in, in no, I don't want to hear you, largely because there's a jurisdictional concern. I understand that. I just gave you an example of it. But the key is this. Um, I'm here at, in support of, of her concerns. I can't necessarily say I support the way it was done, but the root of the concerns are what I'm here for. And all she wants is somebody to hear her express those concerns going back to 2016 up to the point that wherever she came before Judge Bourne, the, the question becomes, why did she have to appear before Judge Bourne? Why did that even become an issue? And I challenge the council to look into that. Secondarily, um, um, the behaviors that I've heard about as it relates to this judge, even though there's no citywide jurisdiction, the behaviors that I've heard have, con have heard about that the entire eight plus years I've been here. And so I'm saying that if someone represented her and helped her present her case to the right people, someone such as one of you or more of you, then I believe it would be more effective. And then I think we can prevent the things that we saw tonight. Don't you agree? I think you got a couple of minutes left, Pastor. <laughs> You're setting a bad tone for pastors if you finish early. Is that all you got? That's pretty much all I got. Thank you. Thank you. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. We are adjourned. Thank you. And I will still be happy to stick around and visit with anybody, Pastor. This document does not address the procedure.